Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, lead scoring uh, within Matomo Analytics. That's an idea that I got uh, with a friend of mine who was discussing about lead nurturing, lead scoring, and then I finally got the idea, okay, maybe uh, one could do it uh, with uh, Matomo Analytics. So what I did over here is that I just created a, a web page in order to uh, introduce what I would like to show you. I have four buttons on this given uh, page. Each button, every time it's clicked, it's pushing an event. And within the event, you have a value. And my idea is to know at the end of the day who is my most valuable, uh, let's say, customer, visitor, or, or whatever. So here I'm pushing the information as a user ID, for example, John. And uh, what happened if I want to compare uh, John score to, uh, let's say, Lisa uh, score. And that's the scope of, of this. Um, of this tutorial. Um, so this is my, my web page on which uh, John has been detected already because he already logged himself in. And let's imagine that uh, John is interacting with a button one and button two, then John should have a total of uh, three because um, behind this button, I added the value of the event, which is equal to one, and under this one, the value of two, and I just clicked on those two. So. Uh, what's happening next is that within my my Matomo, if I reload the page, I should get uh, John, which is the case over here, which has two value, which is one and two. And uh, my idea is after that, I would like to get John over here, but then I would like to get Lisa, and Lisa got a different score, and I would like to get the table in order to compare if uh, Lisa or John uh, out of those two guys who is the most uh, valuable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back uh, over here. I'm going to change John to Lisa, so like this, Lisa. And I'm going to just save this page. I'm just going to reload it. And uh, I guess that Matomo is not going to erase uh, the first one. I hope it's going to create a different entity. Let's see. Uh, yes, as you can see, Lisa is different. So that's that's great for the purpose of this example. I'm just going to like uh, do three and two of this one. So probably now Lisa has a bigger score than the one of, of John. OK, you see that one, two, three and get multiple times the, the third one and so on and so forth. So uh, now what I want to get is that I want to get a table uh, showing John and, and Lisa with the score aligned to it on a uh, second column. So uh, for this, I need this custom um, premium feature. I mean, this premium feature named uh, custom reports. I need to create a report. And this report is going to have as a table. It's going to be the user ID over here. So uh, that's what they call over here the identifier utilizer in French. And here I want the total value of uh, the event. So it's about uh, the value of the event. It's total value of the event, I guess. Okay, I guess that's the one I can probably uh, see John and Lisa. All right, okay, and that's lovely because I can already see that it's working. So, and let's say uh, lead scores. Okay, and then I'm just gonna create it uh, right away. Not sure I'm gonna get those data right away. I would probably have to invalidate the report first, but uh, if I go for lead scores, let's see. Oh, I'm lucky here. I'm getting it straight away. And now I know that uh, Lisa is far more valuable than John. This count is correct. That's those three that I wanted. And then dealing with this one, I can make the mathematics should be 20. So it's 8, 11. 11 plus 6 goes 17 and 20. And that's it. In fact, that's everything that I wanted to show you. So here I took out the uh user id but of course it may be possible that you don't get the user id but instead of the user id if it's about how most variable is your uh, visitor you can take the visitor id so in my case 7ee something um, i mean it's not rocket science i just need to go over here uh, change the lead score and uh, change it by um, I'm going to say, like, instead of uh, user ID, we can pick up uh, the ID of the visitor. ID of the visitor, he has the same thing. OK, but uh, for this, I need to uh, change the stuff. But uh, here we are. 
So, oh, okay, see. Here you see that's definitely a different metric because, in fact, as it's still using the same cookie on my browser, it's not making the difference between those two. But normally, this specific case should not happen, it just happen because, in my case, I use the same window in which I push the different IDs. But in your case, if you are doing it without the user ID and without testing it, let's say as I was doing it, you will definitely add this line at three and this line at 20. So I'm pretty sure that it's working. And that's everything that I wanted to show you today. I really would like to thank Frederic, who is the, the one who gave me the ID to this uh, video tutorial. Thanks for watching.